Hey everybody, and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this lecture, we will be going over the books project. What will our APIs be doing? We will start by creating a list of objects called books. Inside the list of books, we can see that we have five books with names that can identify each book, with the names being book one, book two, book three, book four, and book five. Each book has two properties, a title and an author. The title is identifying the book and the author is who wrote the book. Now, what do we want to do with this list of books? The first thing we want to do is to create an API that can retrieve the books, also known as being able to read the books. We also want to be able to create a new book. We will want to be able to update a book. And lastly, we will want to be able to delete a book. Overall, we want to accomplish the CRUD operations, which is to create, read, update, and delete. Remember, REST APIs use the HTTP request methods to accomplish CRUD operations. It tells the server what the request wants to do that is coming in. And for a quick recap of REST APIs, the request methods typically include get, which is the read method that retrieves data, post, that creates and submits data, put, that updates a resource, patch, that updates part of a resource, and lastly, delete, which deletes a resource. And again, these are known as the CRUD operations, which stands for create, read, update, and delete. How do the get, post, put, and delete request methods look when dealing with the book's data? Within the location call, we will create two get call methods. The first get call will be an empty URL. This get call will return a list of all of the books. The second get call will be slash book one. When this request is called, we will return the object of book one, which includes the title and the author. We will then create a put call where the call will look like the URL of slash book two. This call will consume a path and query parameter to update the book. We will also be creating a post call at an empty URL that will save a book based on the path and query parameters. And we will convert that to a real book object within the application and add it to the list. Lastly, we will create an API that can delete a specific book and remove it from the list. Again, these are known as the CRUD operations and they are used all the time within web applications. How will the high level architecture of this application look? We will create the APIs on Fast API. Test the APIs using Swagger UI, and then be able to see all of our new APIs in action. We will have our client sending a request to our APIs, and then finally have our APIs send a successful response back. This is great stuff, and I can't wait to dive in. This wraps up this lecture, and I will see you in the next video.